After the release of the controversial list, the top 10 strongest and toughest wrestlers, I received a huge amount of comments from viewers. Some of these comments mention different bench press records, which inspired me to compile a list of the strongest bench pressers in wrestling history. I want to point out that many of the records discussed are held in kayfabe wrestling events, so they should be taken with a grain of salt, as they may not necessarily reflect actual achievements. There were also instances where records were shared as anecdotes, so I made an effort to distinguish between fiction and reality. It's worth noting that some individuals, like The Big Show, who seemingly lifted 500 pounds effortlessly, may not have actually attempted a true one rep max and could be actually a lot stronger. Unfortunately, we can never be certain. Also beasts like Warlord, Dino Bravo, Vader, Barbarian, Big John Stutt and Just the Luke almost made the list and would have fit in perfectly. I might cover them in future episodes, so please be patient. Furthermore, it is important to acknowledge that some of those lifts were performed while wearing a bench shirt, which can enhance the lifter's strength to a certain degree. However, I also want to mention that the bench shirts used in the early years of powerlifting only provided additional strength boost to around 10 to 25 pounds and were pretty much just better t-shirts and significantly different from the modern versions. With that out of the way, let's get started with number 10 on our list. While we concluded the list of the strongest wrestlers with Mark Henry, this time, we begin with him at number 10. His official competition record in the bench press is a solid 581 pound. But he mentioned that outside of the competitions was rather around 601. From experience, I can say that in gyms, records tend to be higher than in competition. I should also mention that according to Henry, the bench press is his weakest lift. Everything else I covered in the last video about what a beast and what a behemoth Mark Henry really is. So let's move on with number 9. Number 9, but number 1 when it comes to facial hair, is Nick Big Bully Busick. He was born in Ohio and raised in West Virginia, in a steel town. Busick was an amateur wrestler during his high school years, but he was also a skilled powerlifter in the 70s. In an impressive feat, he attempted to break Jim Williams' bench press record at the age of 17, but unfortunately fell short. Inside the ring, feared as the bully, his outside persona, according to people close to him, couldn't be more different. The former police officer managed to bench in competition 530 pounds in 87, but his unofficial record might be much higher. Furness had a promising career in American football. He won the high school state and junior college national championships, and even made it to the Denver Broncos training camp. After his football career, he focused mainly on powerlifting, where he initially competed as a 242 pound lifter, standing 5 feet 10 inches tall. Eventually, he allowed his body weight to increase to 275 pounds, where he accomplished impressive feats, such as becoming the third man in history to achieve a total of 2,400 pounds. He was also the first man ever to achieve this milestone twice, all while weighing on the lighter side of around 265 to 275 pounds. His first 2,400 pound total came at the inaugural APF World Championships in 1986. During this event, Furness squatted 986 pounds, bench pressed 600 pounds, and deadlifted 814 pounds, all equipped. In case you're unfamiliar with his work, I highly recommend checking out his matches in All Japan, where he displayed an insane amount not only in power, but athleticism as well. The Polish hammer Ivan Putski, known for his feud with superstar Billy Graham and for helping to discover the talent of Bruiser Brody, stood 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighed around 225 pounds. In addition to wrestling, he competed in various sports like strongman and bodybuilding. In an old article, he discussed his training routine which is called the Polish Power Template. What a name. It consisted of only two very basic exercises per session and was done with a high volume. 
I put a link in the description in case you're interested. According to a powerlifting magazine, his bench press record was around 600 pounds, but he usually did 400 pounds for his working sets for multiple reps. Due to this high volume leg work, Klutzki also boasted 20 inch calves. Three times Mr. USA and Mr. Universe, Tony Atlas takes the spot number six. In the WWF, he and his partner Rocky Johnson, father of Dwayne Dwayne the Rock Johnson, made history as the first African-American tag champs. Quite common for bodybuilders in the 70s and 80s were different competitions in powerlifting or other strength tournaments. In an old clip of 82, he's seen lifting 550 pounds while being spotted by the Chunky Dog. Three years later, while weighing 275 pounds, Tony benched 600 pounds raw in an unofficial meet. For comparison, the world record bench press in 82 was 661 pounds, held by three-time world's strongest man, Bill Kasmeyer. While Atlas' touch-and-go bench press is not directly comparable to Kasmeyer's world record, it is still an inhuman amount to bench press, especially for that area of lifting. One of the pioneers in the world of MMA, Tank Abbott. In the early days, where there were virtually no weight classes, he would take most fights on a short notice and still managed to body back most of his opponents. In the world of professional wrestling, he was known for his feud against Rick Steiner and according to rumors, got him into a shoot fight with him, which Tank said was a work to some degree. Tank was also known for his incredible power in the bench press. In some old training footage, he can be seen pressing 550 pounds for six reps, 555 pounds for three reps, and 605 pounds for single. All raw, no equipment needed. Even though he didn't win many fights back in the day, he always showed immense fighting spirit and deserves to be in the UFC Hall of Fame. Number four is Animal. Coming from a powerlifting background and working as a bouncer at Grandma B's, Animal was known for his law for the bench and overhead pressing. The only video evidence I could find was some old training clip with his tag team partner Hall, as well as some KFA bench press contest. According to an interview, he mentioned that he benched 610 pounds. Out of you guys in the comment section reported that they saw Animal back in the day moving 500 pounds for five reps in the incline. So 610 pounds doesn't seem too far off. Number three goes to former NWO member two-time IWGP Heavyweight Championship winner and competitive arm wrestler Scott Norton, who is also known for his appearance in the Stallone Classic over the top. At 18 years old, Norton already weighed 306 pounds. Due to his huge size, he dominated the early tournaments in arm wrestling and eventually he also became friends with Road Warrior Hall. Norton also trained arm wrestling in seventh grade together with Rick Root and in 1986 finally managed to beat his longtime rival and all-time great Cleve Dean. In an interview, Norton talked about bench pressing close to 700 pounds. He also mentioned standing biceps curls of 150 pound dumbbells for reps and a barbell curl of 315 pounds. Another record of his is a bench press of 550 pounds for eight reps. Number two again goes to Bill Kasmer. One of the all-time strength legends, Bill Kazmaier began his career in football, but eventually shifted his focus to strength sports. As a three-time world's strongest man and powerlifting champion, he also competed for a short period of time in the WCW, as well as New Japan during the 90s. After receiving training by Vern Gagne in his wrestling career, he feuded with Lex Luger in several dark matches and teamed up for a short time with Rick Steiner and the Japanese legend Jushin Sander Liger. Kazmaier's best bench press was a 661.4 pound raw bench, which was broken a couple of years later by our first place. Highly requested in the last video, the number one spot for the heaviest bench goes to Ted Arcidi. Arcidi set an all-time world record bench press of 705.5 pounds as the first ever in 1985 while wearing a prototype bench press shirt. The shirt was only one thick layer and was later categorized as equipped. However, Asidi did not believe that the shirt significantly improved his bench press. In 1990, he got his all-time best equipped with 718 pounds. Asidi's best raw bench press was at an official powerlifting meet in 84, 
where he managed an impressive 666.9 pounds with Bauda Ben Shirt and Honolulu Hawaii. In wrestling, he went against other strongman type of opponents like Tony Atlas and Big John Studd and also made an appearance at WrestleMania 2 in the Battle Royal. In World Class Championship Wrestling, he was part of the same stable with legends like Rick Root, Cactus Jack and the Ultimate Warrior, known as Dingo Warrior back then. While not famous for his wrestling career, will always be one of the all-time greatest bench presses.